Morning. Hey guys, lesson 22 for phonics. Let's start with some blending and segmenting. Our first word is lid. La, e, da. How many? Three. La, e, da. Good. Let's do the word cab. Ka, a, ba. How many segments? Three. Ka, a, ba. What about the word jam? J, a, m. How many segments? Three. J, a, m. Good. What about the word stew? S -t -u. How many segments? Three. S -t -u. Good job. Let's do the word risk. R -i -s -k. How many segments? Four. R -i -s -k. Good job. Let's do the word spiel. S -p -i -u. S -p -i -u. How many segments? Four. S P -i -u. Good. Let's do the word pest. P -e -s -t -a. How many segments? P -e -s -t -a. Good job. Let's do the war word broil. B -r -o -o. B -r -o -o. How many segments? Four. B -r -o -o. Good job. All right, so now what I want us to do is we are going to do reviewing vowels and consonant sounds, and we are going to do mirror, mirror. Now, we shared yesterday about vowel sounds. So remember, let's think about what was important with our vowel sounds. Vowel sounds have open mouth sounds. And vowel sounds can be stretched out when someone calls out names or sings. And every word has a vowel in it. So during this lesson, we're going to review consonant sounds. Now, most words contain consonant sounds, but a few words do not. For example, the word I does not have a consonant sound. Remember that consonant sounds are made with part of the mouth touching or momentarily closed. This slows or stops the flow of the air leaving your mouth. So watch your mouth as you say the consonant M. M. Do you see how my mouth closes when I say M? Mm -hmm. Now, when you have to say a consonant sound, your mouth stays completely closed. Air does not fo flow freely to or from your mouth. Okay, it's released through your nose. Watch your mouth as you say the consonant sound P. P. Do you see how it was closed? Do you see that your mouth closed momentarily and then opened to release a puff of air? Air does not flow continuously from your mouth. It stopped just for that one little moment when the lips are closed, and but then it was released again. Now let's watch your mouth as you say the consonant sound th. Th. So what did you see there? Your tongues are between your upper and lower teeth. Air does not flow freely from your mouth. It is slowed down as it moves around your tongue. Th. Point out that none of these consonant sounds are made with a wide open mouth. Notice E, M, and Th are not wide open sounds, okay? Like the vowel. So now you get the pleasure of hearing me sing happy birthday with just the consonant sounds. Yesterday, I sang it with the vowel sounds. Today is the consonant sounds. And this is going to be really hard. So bear with me. Ha, pa, ba, tha, da, ta, ya. Ha, pa, ba, tha, da, ta, ya. Ha, pa, ba, tha. Da, ta, 
a ha pa ba sa da ta ya. That was hard. <laughs> I'll give myself a pat on the back for that one. That was hard. That was a good job. Whew. Goodness. All right. So now we're going to move on into our vowel discrimination game. Remember yesterday when we were doing, when we did this lesson, we have vowels on cards and you have the same vowels on lesson 21.1. I do believe they were bigger vowels and it had lines to where you could cut them out and use them. Well, if you have them, you can hold up your cards as we do the words here. All right, so what you're going to do is I'm going to say a word and you're going to hold up the vowel sound you hear in that word. Remember, the words that we have are just uh, three to four letter words and the vowel comes in the middle of the word. So when you hear the vowel, just hold up your card. All right. So remember our vowel sounds. We have the I, E, I. A, uh, uh. So you have the I sound, E sound, a uh sound, ah uh sound, and the A uh sound that you will hear in these words. So the first word I want you to listen for is hop, hop. What letter can you hold up to tell me what vowel that is? Hop. Now, I hear the O sound, the O sound in hop. Good. What about the word shed, shed? What vowel do you hear there? Hmm. Eh. Oh, it's the E sound, the E sound, good. What about pin, pin, E sound? It's the I, good. What about gum, gum? What vowel do you hear there, gum, uh? Oh, the U sound, good. What about the word cat, cat? Ah, it's the A sound, good. What about bet? Bet, eh, makes the E sound, good job. What about the word top? Top, what makes the ah sound? O, good. What about chip? Chip, eh, what makes the I sound? The I, good. What about the word pat? Pat, what makes that sound? Hey, good. What about the word hum? Hum, huh, uh, uh. Makes the U sound, good job. What about the word wet? Wet, eh, eh. It's the E, good. And our last one, had, had, eh. It's the A sound. Good job, guys. Now make sure that you practice that with your vowels, seeing if you can recognize the vowel in the middle of words like that. That's perfect. So now let's go into some nouns. Let's uh, talk nouns for a few minutes. What if I say the phrase ball, rolls. The ball rolls. Repeat that with me. Ball rolls. Okay. Now there is a word in this phrase that names a thing. And remember that a word that names a thing is a part of a speech called a noun. Okay. So if I say that phrase again, ball rolls, what would be the noun there? Ball. Good, okay. So today you're gonna learn some more words that are nouns that name things too. So listen carefully to the following phrases and I'm gonna ask you to tell me the word that names a thing in the phrase. The first phrase, car 
starts. Car starts. What name's the thing there? Car, good. What about big toe? Big toe. What name's a thing? Toe, good. What about red books? Red books. What name's the thing? It's books, good. Fingers wiggle, fingers wiggle. What name's the there? Fingers, good. Now remember, a noun can be at the beginning of a phrase or at the end of a phrase, all right? So listen carefully to the following phrases and I want you to tell me what the thing is in the sentence is a noun. Telephone rings, what name's a thing? Telephone, good. What about red bicycle? What name's a thing? Bicycle, good. Now remember, a noun is at the beginning or the end of a sentence, and what part of speech do we call a name that names a thing? It's a noun. Good job, guys. So let's go into our reading time. We are gonna read a story today from our snapshot book. And let's think about that for a minute. A snapshot is a picture that we've taken like with the camera. So what has Beth been taking snapshots of so far? Think about the books that we've read. Beth and Nat and A Trip to the UK. What has she taken pictures of so far, the snapshots? Well, she's taken them of Nat and of a dog with a hot dog. She's taken pictures of, uh, let's see, I don't know if there was one with her mom. Nope, that was dad that took that snapshot. I think it was mainly she taking pictures of Nat and the dog. So where did Beth travel to with her mom? She went to the UK. What's the UK? Oh, the United Kingdom, yes, because UK is an abbreviation. Who is she visiting over there in the United Kingdom? She's visiting Nat and his mom, Dot. Good. Well, today we're going to read a story about a cat named Bud. All right. And you're going to hear a couple vocabulary words today. You're going to hear the word vet. And a vet is a doctor for animals. And then you're also going to hear the word cast, a thick wrapping that surrounds a body part that has been broken. So if you've ever broken a bone, you've and wrapped around your arm or your leg, that's a cast, okay? And also, at this time frame, we have been looking at punctuation on sentences where some of our sentences end with periods, some of them end with exclamation marks. These two symbols look like this. There's a period. And then there's excited mark, your excitement, okay? Well, today you're gonna get a new symbol. It's this one. Does anybody know what that symbol is? Oh, it's a question mark. And it's used at the end of sentences that ask a question, okay? So you're gonna see a question mark in today's story. So what we're gonna do right now is, I am going to put up today's story, Bud the Cat. So I am gonna share my screen with you, okay? And we are going to read this all the way through. So give me a second to share. All right, as you can see, you see Bud the cat, Bud the cat. Mm -hmm. 
This is a snapshot of Nat's cat, Bud. Nat got Bud from a vet. Bud had a bad leg. The vet had to fix Bud's leg. There's Bud. He's a pretty cat. Bud had to sit in a box with a cast on one leg. Then Nat said, Mom, can I have him? Can I? Can I? Can I? Dot said yes. And there's Dot with the vet and Nat with little Bud with a cat on his leg. And that is the end of our story. So I'm gonna stop sharing our screen, okay? Now, I've got a couple questions to ask from that story. Where did that get Bud? Hmm. Got him at the vet, didn't he? Yeah. What was wrong with Bud? He had a bad leg. Oh, uh, that's why he had a cast on. Okay. Well, that's all my discussion questions here. So what I want you to do is, I need you to do your review worksheet, okay? And then make sure you turn it in. All right? So I will see you tomorrow for lesson 23. Bye.